Our next athlete is someone who wasn't injured or became sick. She has a birth defect. Her name is Kelly Bruno, and her story is about growing up different, but having goals and dreams like other children and how she made them a reality. It is also a story about the challenges of being a parent of a child born with a disability. Filming this segment was particularly challenging for me because I had to do something I hadn't done since I was two-legged almost 40 years ago, run. Who says I can't? Kelly Bruno is 27 years old, and boy, can she run. Kelly has set world records for amputees in the 200 meter and 800 meter distances. She can also swim and bike, and has won gold in triathlons. And this athlete has brains as well as power and beauty. She's a medical student at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. Kelly's father, Richard Bruno, was a doctor in the U.S. Foreign Service for more than 20 years. He had a very small group of patients. He saw all the diplomats in the community. You know, and I think he really enjoyed that. And, and I kind of liked, just like he knew all of his patients. Um, and and I, that's kind of what the kind of medicine that I grew up knowing. Kelly's mom, Jane Bruno, says Kelly was conceived right before the family went on their first overseas assignment with the State Department to Lagos, Nigeria. Her mom returned to the U.S. to give birth. I had had a yellow fever vaccine prior to going over to Lagos, and it turns out that that can interfere with the development of the fetus. She had only three toes um, and really not very much of a heel on her right leg. Kelly says she remembers knowing she was different as a young child. Growing up Catholic, she prayed for something every night before she went to bed. I prayed for one thing in particular when I was little. Um, I prayed very, very hard that my leg would grow back. She grew up with an older sister. My sister had two legs, you know, so and, and she was the one I looked up to because she was two years older than me. Lauren is Kelly's older sister. I think I just looked out because other people would stare and look at her funny and, you know, make fun of her and stuff like that. So it was more of a, don't, don't mess with my little sister. She's okay, leave her alone um, relationship. Most older sisters will pick on you and beat you up once in a while. Was she that way or did she like take extra care not to do that with you? I think she was a little afraid of my leg. Um, it kind of weirded her out a little bit. Um, but other than that, I mean, she picked on me as much as, you know, an older sister does. She was not the type, she would never steal it or hide it or, you know, do anything. My, my dad, on the other hand, was not the same. He would hide it. He was a jokester. He'd hide it or he'd stick things in it. Kelly's father helped her do something very important for a kid, ride a bike. With the bike, he devised a way of just strapping her foot onto the pedal. Lauren remembers a special bond between Kelly and her father. All he wanted was a boy to play football with and a boy to play, you know, baseball with. So I was, I was a lost cause. I throw like a girl and I will always throw like a girl. So Kelly was sort of his next person to work on when she was old enough. And he got her right in there and he was like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to have an athlete in the family. And she just took to it. But growing up, there were some very hard moments for Kelly. It was started in like middle school and boys would be making fun of her and say, you have one leg, what's wrong with you? And I remember she would just come home crying and my parents and I wouldn't even know what to say. Her mom remembers after one particularly difficult surgery, and there were seven of them, when she picked Kelly up from school on a rainy day. She says, my leg hurts so bad. It turns out she had fallen. She said, and nobody stopped to help her. And it was just devastating. It ended up the leg had fractured again and how she had to have another surgery. Once she healed from that surgery, she was ready to prove herself. She tried out for the middle school basketball team and got on it and started playing basketball. She thrived in it because she had my dad's attention and the better she was, sort of the more attention she got from him. In high school, Kelly shifted to running and that's when her athletic career really took off. And it's when Kelly really accepted who she was. I'm going to, you know, show myself and the world that I can do anything that anybody else can do. And Kelly did show the world. She began racing in international Paralympic events. As an undergrad at Duke, she started competing in triathlons and then entered medical school at the University of North Carolina. In January 2010, 
Kelly suffered a huge loss. Her father, Dr. Richard Bruno, was taking students to Haiti on a volunteer mission when he was killed in the devastating earthquake. That's who she would talk to when she ever said, oh, my knee's bothering me, or, you know, should I do this race? Or my dad was the person that she would go to. So I think for her, she's taken it in a way that made her stronger. And I think that's why she, you know, she's been doing the Ironman. She's been doing med school. She's really into the other parts of her life. She just got even more passionate about because she lost her dad. Around the time her dad died, Kelly was picked to be a contestant on the TV program Survivor. She wore a cosmetic prosthesis when she first joined the cast in Nicaragua. I wore that leg for five days with open-toed sandals and no one knew. I didn't want anyone to make a judgment about me before they saw what I could do, so I didn't want anyone to know I was an amputee before the game started. I didn't really believe her when she first said it. I was like, seriously, that TV show? And then I was like, can she do this? I was a little bit surprised, but you know, I, I think it does reflect Kelly's personality. She was accepted. She wasn't about to turn down a challenge like that. Duh, that's, of course she can figure it out. She'll figure it out and she'll make it work. And then we were worried these other people are going to be stronger than you. I'm like, no, but actually she's stronger than 99% of those people anyways. And once she got into it, she really got into it. That part of Kelly's personality is something I understand well. It's who says I can't. So when we spoke with Kelly about doing this show and she said she wanted me to compete with her in a triathlon, I agreed, even though I hadn't run in 38 years. 